Hey guys and welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I am going to be doing a pseudo first impressions video today but more like a review because I have actually used this product quite a few times and the product we're going to be talking about today is the Charlotte Tilbury Mini Miracle Eye Wand. And this product is very, very pricey. Charlotte Tilbury products in general are very pricey, so I definitely kind of went out on a whim to purchase this. But when it comes to anything related to underneath the eyes, I am such a sucker. If you watch my channel, you know this. Um, I am just addicted to under eye products. I'm constantly looking for something that's going to conceal my under eye circles and bags, and I'm literally willing to try anything. Um, I have definitely picked up some favorites over the years. If you guys want me to do a video on some of my favorite under eye products, I'm happy to do that. Just leave a comment below because I have literally tried everything and I definitely have found certain products that are better than others. But as my quest continues, I continue to spend inordinate amounts of money trying to find the perfect thing. So this product, again, it's expensive. It retails for $45. I got it directly off the Charlotte Tilbury website. and. Um, it's a two-ended product. So the top end is basically a an illuminating cream gel type product and the other side is a concealer. So this product comes in several shades. It comes in, sorry I'm looking at my computer, it comes in five shades, one being the lightest, five being the deepest, and I got mine in the shade number two. So it's the second to lightest shade and it is a pretty good match for me color wise. So basically, everybody wants to look more awake, everybody wants to brighten up their under eye area. So this is supposed to be a kind of double threat and include sort of like an eye cream, um, eye serum type thing with a concealer. So the hydrating eye cream is enriched with specialty tailored under eye agents that make the skin feel firmer and tauter. And the second, the, um, the concealer, is inspired by photographer's silver light reflector, the lightweight, ultra-brilliant light reflector is packed with a million lights, microparticles that brighten shadows, conceal discoloration, and diffuse the appearance of under-eye hollows. Hollows, sorry. Um, I mean, sounds perfect, right? These, I'm always constantly impressed by the descriptions that are written up on these products. It just makes them seem amazing. I mean... How can you argue with that description? It sounds perfect. So, um, I have, like I said, I've tried this product a few times. I've been wearing it, and, you know, in the morning before work, and basically I've been putting on the cream side before my foundation. I have foundation on now. I'm using just a little sample of the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. It is a beautiful foundation. I wore this to my best friend's wedding, and, um... It's, it stayed put and it's just beautiful in pictures. It's an awesome foundation. I highly recommend it. I can't, I think I, this is the color 122 that I'm wearing right now. Um, so I just kind of threw this on just to even out my skin tone before I review this product for you. So typically I would put the under eye cream on prior to my foundation because you don't want them kind of running together. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to apply it with my foundation already on. So I'm going to apply it underneath the eyes and then let it sit a little bit and then apply the concealer. So I'm just gonna jump right into the demo and then as I go through the demo I can talk about it a little bit and then I can sort of tell you about my experience so far with the product. But I think when it comes to an under eye product you really just want to see how it works. I mean I can talk all day about different things about this product but when I go to find a review on YouTube I really just want to see how the darn thing looks on the person's skin. Like just show me how it works. So that is what I'm going to do for you guys. Um, all right, so now that I'm back to work full time, I've mentioned in other videos, I get my summers off as part of my job, so I'm fully back in the work swing and my face is a testament to that. I have been tired, I've been looking more tired, my eyes have been more droopy and puffy, um, and hence the purchase of this product. So, I love this packaging, first of all. Um, it's white with these rolled rose gold accents, and it's really beautiful. I think Charlotte Til Tilbury does a really nice job with her packaging. Um, I mean, the feel of it isn't, isn't anything super high quality or luxurious, but I do love the color combo she has going on. So basically what you do is you click up, and it's a very, very traditional um, applicator there. 
and this clear substance comes out. And so what I've been doing is just gently applying this clear substance. Clear substance, that sounds kind of weird. This eye cream right underneath my eyes. Really nothing, nothing uh, exciting about this part. But it's very, very clear. It's very lightweight. It doesn't sit heavily underneath your eyes. And this is one of the reasons why I don't put on my foundation before is because the foundation gets in this, this part. And I don't want... I don't want that to get dirty. So it's extremely lightweight. It's not going to feel heavy underneath your eyes. It's not going to feel like you have a really thick gel under there. And it has a nice cooling sensation as well. So after you put that on, I just kind of gently excuse my nails right now. They are not in very good shape. Um, I have been using glue on nails, just like drugstore glue on nails, because I'm trying to give my nails a break from acrylic. And um, they've been working quite nicely. I might do a video on it, but I just pulled them all off yesterday because I was just ready for a new set, and so my nails are looking a little bit worse for wear. But um, it is somewhat damaging, but not nearly as damaging as like acrylic. So um, I might do a video on that. But anyways, I'm just dabbing this in again. Like I said, extremely lightweight. This is not going to disrupt the look of your concealer. If anything, it's going to lay a nice foundation for your concealer over top. So once that's on, I'm going to step two, and that is the concealer. And essentially, very traditional, we're just going to click up the top until a little bit of product comes out. And for this product, I'm going to do it in a... Oh my god, that scared the... out of me. It's my dryer. <laughs> Sheet washing day. Um, Alright, so as I was saying, I'm going to do it in this triangular shape. I find that this is the best shape when you're trying to conceal puffiness. When you're concealing dark circles, you can get away with kind of a little bit more of the center just on the darkness, but if you're puffy like me as well, you really want to create a nice even plane so you're not highlighting the bag. So this triangular shape works really nicely. And like the cream, this concealer is extremely lightweight, it's not heavy, um, and that's a nice thing because it will not settle into your fine lines, which is good. So I'm just taking um, this Real Techniques buffing brush, it's a great brush, kind of rediscovered it recently. I mean, Real Techniques just hit the jackpot with their brushes. They are so affordable and so freaking amazing. I love them. Anyways, I'm just taking out some of the time of blending by tapping that in really, really gently with my buffing brush, which I used to put on my foundation. And then I just take my two, what is this? What is this? Ooh, it's my middle finger. Okay, so I'm taking my middle finger and just gently tapping in whatever has not been blended yet. I really like using my fingers. I know a lot of people on YouTube use brushes to blend in their concealer on their under eyes, and I think it looks phenomenal, but I am a huge proponent <laughs> proponent of using my fingers because the warmth from your fingers really um, kind of makes the product emollient and really makes it blend in nicely and makes it look really natural. Whereas sometimes when I use brushes to blend in, it looks a little bit chalky, a little bit dry, and it, it's a little clingy. So I like to take most of the leg workout using a brush and then finish off with my fingers. So there you guys is the um, concealer all blended in with the eye cream underneath. As you can see, my under eyes are looking much brighter. Um, and they feel really light. They feel really... I don't feel cakey under there. I don't feel like things are settling into my fine lines. It's really a nice concealer. Um, let me just set that. Today I'm going to set my under eye concealer with a hourglass powder. I don't typically use this powder, but I was just inspired today to use it. Um, it is the Mood Light. I use this all the time as a foundation setting powder, and it has some really nice light reflecting properties. I'm so sorry if you guys can hear that dog barking in the background. I have my windows open today. But we love dogs, right? So I'm just going to very gently pat this on just to set my concealer. I always, I'm kind of like OCD about setting my concealer after I put it on. Just because I don't want it to go anywhere. So, there you have it. That is the finished 
product that is the demo for this concealer. So let's chat a little bit about it. Okay guys, so um, I just applied the concealer. I put on the eye cream first and then I put on the concealer second. The concealer is a really nice match for me right now. Like I said, it is shade number two, so it is not the lightest, but it's the second to lightest and it's a really nice match for me. I like how the eye cream part is very light. It doesn't feel cakey or heavy under your eyes and it really makes your concealer glide on really nicely. It's also supposed to create some tautness underneath your eyes and kind of suck away those bags a little bit. Um, I don't know how effective it is at that. I don't know that it's a huge difference in terms of really bringing down my puffiness, but regardless, it has a nice cooling sensation and it feels good when you put it on. The concealer is a nice concealer. I don't think it's earth shattering. Um, it's very lightweight. It does have some nice light reflecting um, particles to it, so it kind of helps bounce the light off. But it's not, you know, it, it's it's not like a corrector where all of a sudden your darkness is just completely gone. It's a nice product. It works well. It does its job. But it's it's not something where I'm like bowing down, like oh my god, thank you, this is my savior. It's a nice product. I will use it. It's good. Is it worth forty five dollars? That's completely up to you. I like it. I like that it comes with an eye cream so you can sort of treat your under eye area before you put your concealer on. I do really like that. I like the way this feels on my skin. Um, so I'm happy I purchased it. Very, very, very pricey product. Um, $45 is a lot of money for a concealer, but it does come with the eye cream. So you can kind of look at it as that you're paying for an eye cream and a concealer. Okay. I really hope you guys can't hear that dog. At my apartment complex, I have a dog park right outside, and there's a lot of barking that happening, happens, and I love dogs, so I'm okay with it, but um, you guys probably find it really annoying. So I'm going to wrap up this video really quick. Um, anyways, that is the product. That is the down low and the demo for you. I really hope this was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed it, and please leave any comments or questions at all below, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I will see you soon. Please don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when my videos come up on YouTube. Thanks!